in the last lecture i have tried to i have tried to show that uh, how a laser light uh, uh, diffract from the surfaces of a cd and the pattern of it right now i am using this scale a1 feet a1 feet scale uh, you can see the mark here in inches and centimeter these marks are important the depth of these marks are important so i will fold the light on this on this particular surface of the scale and then we will see the pattern so i am using just uh, this simple laser light which is available in the market and, and i will fold the light on the surface of it so you can see i will fold the light and then we will see the result on the screen so let us see using this laser light and on this screen you are looking a circular shape uh this is the result of uh, basically reflection or diffraction and interference from the surface of the scale so a different different angle i am choosing different different angle and when i am choosing around uh, that is very close to 180 degree you can see right now i am almost parallel to the surface of the scale and the original you can see the pattern and that pattern basically is the original crop diffraction this you can see a number of shapes a number of this not clearly visible but the vertical line of this laser light indicating the dot dots dots and each dot basically is the result of diffraction i am twisting the scale and as a result you are observing that vertical line that vertical line basically is the uh, result of uh, all small small dotted points so when this light is almost parallel to the surface of the scale then what is happening we are observing you can see here very carefully if you see at the center that is uh, some dots so i will try to show it very close to the screen i am going nearby to the screen Very 
careful observation can show that light also diffract from the surfaces of the scale and right now you can see here dotted points try to focus on it basically uh, these are different different points but uh, visible a single line like a single line but it's a really a very far so you can see these points here on each section of the showing now the different case i am falling i am increasing the angle and as a result what you will you see you will see a circular pattern on the screen so i am increasing the angle the circle is also increasing Increasing the angle from the center of this scale. As a result, the diameter of the scale is increasing. So you can see here basically the result of laser light when it falls on the surface. Of a scale, it develops a different different pattern. Right now, it's making a circular pattern, but it becomes vertical when the laser light falls on the surface, almost parallel to it, and that is basically the diffraction. This is the result. The center spot which you are looking here. So this is the basically result. I have this scale and the laser light along this. You can see that a pattern W. So this is the behavior of laser light. on the scale and as a result you have seen the diffraction when the laser light is parallel to the axis of the scale and when you increase the angle you observe a pattern circular pattern like this and this is the result from the scale but it does not happens with the other source so i am using here this LED source, a white light source, and uh, using this scale, 
when the light falls on it and it doesn't help on anything we cannot uh, basically expect uh, that type of pattern so this is a broad source